guys, today I'll be doing a full review and demo of this Hoover Junior 1354A dirt searcher vacuum cleaner. Now this is not a current vacuum cleaner you can buy in the shops, this machine is actually from 1971 and it's in pretty okay condition. Um, it still works um, and picks up quite effectively and my dog is being a stupid dog. Hello, excuse me, go on, scram, go on, yeah, sorry about that. Dog's being stupid, but um, just get back for the vacuum. This is um, one of the best selling uprights back in the day. Very, very, very good machines. Uh, still to the, today's standards, very well built. All uh, hard, baker-like plas type plastic. I've actually um, recently um, not um, de-yellowed it uh, before you could see the um, yellowness around here. You still can see a little bit, but it's not as bad. Uh, this is the main light unit um, that was used. Um, your light bulbs in there. The normal ones will just have a flat cover over there and don't have that. Um, here's your uh, pulley, fan and belt. That's where that goes around. The brush goes around. As we bump it, it runs all the way around. Underneath we have the brush roll system uh, with the beta bars and the brushes. The wheels on the bottom and then there's your motor in there. On this side we have the height right dial which adjusts the wheels underneath. These, these, this one's quite stiff, it just adjusts the wheels underneath to your suitable pile of carpet. Here's the dust bag, you can release this um, from the top. Um, this was quite an unhygienic way of emptying, you had to undo this. And there's a dust bag in there, um, that would all slip off. We would use that about one or two times and uh, throw it away and get a new one. Here's the cable, it's actually a replacement uh, as the original was, um, was broken. Uh, it's got a uh, MK plug which would have been quite a popular plug back in its time. This was quite a deluxe feature back in the day, it's a swivelling cable hook. Um, mine actually I snapped in half when I was uh, taking the handle off so I had to glue that. This cable, it wouldn't have been a very long cable, so I've not got a very long cable on there. Uh, here's your on-off switch. Moving around the back, we've got the um, recline switch, and we've got the cable running up the back of the handle. Uh, this machine was only really suitable for carpets. It was absolutely um, rubbish for hard floors. But um, here's the uh, cleaning tools uh, that would have come with it. Well, would have, you would have had to buy it separately. Um, I'll just show you inside. It comes with a multi-purpose brush, ideal for stairs and dusting. It comes with the adapter to actually connect the hose to the front of the vacuum, and it's a belt lifter too. Uh, very good device on the back here for lifting the belt. Um, uh, around a standard Hoover crevice tool that would come with the uh, the Harlequin um, Constellation Hoover, etc. Um, the hoof double stretch hose, which is in very good condition, and um, it stretches double length. Quite poor stretchability uh, to, compared to machines of nowadays. Um, and also um, an extension one, the same one you would get with the Hooverette or the uh, well, any of the cylinder vacuums in the Hoover range. So, and there's the box. Um, to, to fit these tools, you would lift this and fit that on there, rotate that over and that's on there, then you would plug your hose in here, line the locking tabs up, twist and that's on, and then you can attach any of your tools such as your uh, dusting brush on here, like so. Um, if you did have another machine such as a Hooverette, a Harlequin or Constellation, um, you could use the tools off of that, um, such as the floor nozzle. Um, especially on, I think it was the Harlequin they did and the uh, the other one they did, the uh, 417G. Um, you could use the uh, tools off of that. Um, so you could use this going up high, getting your cobwebs, etc. So I will be de demonstrating these tools in the, the course of the demo. Uh, so, first of all, what we're going to do is going to uh, put some muck on the floor and we're going to see how well this uh, machine will pick up and uh, just test it throughout its paces 
want to see how an efficient vacuum it is. Um, sorry for the phone breathing. So I've put a fair bit of dirt down for the Hoover machine to clean up. So let's see how it does. Um, I'm not um, expecting it to uh, go through with gusto because um, uh, it's quite big chunks and it will be quite noisy so um, I'll hopefully turn the volume down on this part of the video. So here we go. Right, what we need to do is hire the um, height right control to two and then it should work perfect. So what it did leave is a, a line of shame, um, but I did go over it again, so it did disappear. Um, it's done quite well, surprisingly, so um, I suppose we'll clean up the rest of it and um, we'll show you the result. <laughs> underneath oh it's this spring it's meant to do the height right control unfortunately that's come off so we have to do without that so um, I'll just have a look <laughs> Okay, so let's just get the last bits up in the holes. So here we have a few last bits around here. We'll just get it up with the uh, the nozzle. I'm very, very surprised with this result I got from this uh, vacuum cleaner. Um, it's 40 odd years old and has a slip-in belt and it's done that well with that amount of dirt. It's still sucking quite well. Um, the bag is still a little bit full though. Um, but it is a very, very good vacuum cleaner. Uh, most modern bagless machines would clog up with that little amount of dirt uh, that I put down. But this Hoover Junior just sucked it straight up. And I recommend this vacuum cleaner if you um, want something light and you have limited space. Because it will pick up very, very well. Um, if you do know a little bit about vacuum cleaners, I would pick one of these up on eBay, fix it up and use it. Because it is... But far, far, far better than um, well most modern vacuum cleaners you can buy in the shops, and it can be far, far cheaper, um, especially when you're on a budget. But um, yeah, I recommend this machine, um, although it's not available to buy brand new. But um, 
pick one up on eBay second hand for any other collectors, um, it's still a very, very good vacuum. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe for more reviews on vacuums and thanks for and bye for now.